The R2S has three main intelligent flight modes, grouped under the interface named Focus Track. I've already analyzed the excellent and versatile Spotlight. You will find the link at the end of this video and in the description below. I will do a specific one on the third one, Attic Track, very soon. In this video I will analyze in depth, point of interest, the flight mode based on circling around the target. I will show you many different ways to use this mode, including one to simulate some moves normally performed using waypoints. So, let's get going, and don't forget to hit the like button if you find this video interesting. Orbiting around a landmark has always been a very useful way to reveal a scene. It is also extremely useful when we want to obtain a very pleasing parallax effect in a scene with several elements in different planes. I remember the old times when with the Phantom 4 Pro we had to first over on top of the subject with the camera pointing down to set it as a target, then move further back to the desired distance from the subject we wanted to circle around. Well, apart the huge waste of battery time. Can you imagine trying to circle this way around Mount Etna or around the Empire State Building? Well, that was in another geological era, and drone technology has improved hugely since. In previous models of the Mavic line, using DJI GO 4, we had to click on an icon to access the main page of Intelligent Flight Modes. Then we had a large choice of different modes, we selected a specific one, and finally we had to choose the parameter for that mode. In the last generation of DJI drones using DJI Fly, the main Intelligent Flight Modes are organized in a very efficient way and grouped around an interface named Focus Track. All we need to do is draw a rectangle around our target. After a few seconds, a cross will appear in a corner of the rectangle, showing that the target has been detected. At the bottom, three icons will show the three different flight modes available in Photos Track. Active Track, Spotlight and Point of Interest. We choose Point of Interest, then we set the direction of the orbit clockwise or anticlockwise as well as the speed, by sliding the yellow dot. The aircraft will immediately start to circle around the target, but if you want to use the left and right sticks, it is better to wait a few seconds a circle creation are being made, and by moving the drone, the target will be lost. When the calculations are done, another icon will appear within the rectangle to show that we can now move closer or farther away from the target and modify the altitude. I like the new interface, as the process of getting into the mode I need is much faster. It could be argued that there are now several modes missing, but the three modes available now are so versatile that we can easily perform most of the moves we normally need. The only mode I really miss is my favorite one, Waypoints. It has not been included in the R2S, as DJI has chosen to keep it as a weapon for the next incarnation of the Mavic 2 Pro. But as we will see later in this video, using point of interest or spotlight, we can perform some of the moves that I would normally achieve using waypoints. In most cases, when showing a landscape, the most cinematic way is to perform several movements at the same time. As an example, we often want to pan horizontally while keeping the target at the center of the frame, and at the same time get closer or farther away and modify the altitude. These moves are very hard to perform manually, but using point of interest, the software will take care of the panning movement while keeping the camera on the target, and we can concentrate on the moves forwards and backwards, and upwards and downwards. In several situations, we can perform similar moves using either point of interest or spotlight mode, but the result will be slightly different, so we can choose which mode to use according 
to the result we want to achieve. In this case, using Spotlight, I'm starting from low altitude and rapidly moving forward and upwards, while the software keeps the camera locked to the subject despite the vertical movement. Here I perform a similar move, but this time using point of interest mode, so there will also be a slight horizontal circling move while I advance toward the target while raising an altitude. I can accentuate the circling effect by modifying the orbiting speed or by moving towards the target at slower speed. By pointing the camera down with the drone almost on top of the target, we can get an interesting point of view, and then by adding a downward or upward move, we get something similar to the famous corkscrew Hollywood move. The three focus track modes can be used in combination with the excellent zoom functionalities of this drone. I have done a specific video about it, click on this link to watch it. In this case I would like to circle around the monastery, but I am way too far away to set it as a target. From where I am I cannot move closer with my drone, and it's not allowed by local regulations. By zooming, I can now choose point of interest and perform the desired move. Remember that the zoom modes are available only in normal color mode and in resolution of 4K or lower. As I mentioned earlier, the R2S sadly doesn't have waypoints. This mode is very useful not only for repetitive tasks like surveys of building sites or monitoring in agricultural fields, but it is excellent for performing moves that are difficult to achieve manually. This is an example of a complex move, performed using waypoints, spotlight and point of interest. with waypoints I set four different points and start from a top-down view of this monastery, move farther away with a severe change in altitude, rotate almost 180 degrees around while getting closer again, to end by the front of the monastery with Mount Etna in the background. As you can see I can perform a very similar move using either spotlight or point of interest. The result will be quite similar using one of the two modes, so it is up to you to choose the one you feel more comfortable with. With point of interest all I have to do is to use the left and the right stick of the remote controller to get closer or farther away from the subject and to change the elevation. Point of interest will take care of the orientation of the camera. It is also possible to use point of interest for tracking. In this case, in the tab control of the settings, we choose subject scanning. Please note that this is the only way to track an object that is already on the move. Focus track will search for people or cars in the scene and put a plus sign around them. We can then click on the plus to select that target and choose any of the three modes for tracking. When following cars or action, my favorite mode is spotlight or action track. But it is occasionally interesting to use pointer interest to circle around a subject that is moving at a relatively slow speed, like people walking by the beach or a sailing boat and so on. Click on this link to watch my video about the other intelligent flight modes of the R2S, Spotlight and Active Track. If you find this video useful, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you soon.